You know, I'm not super clear who would ever need to go to a gym in this city with all the walking that has to be done to take place. If you are indeed coming to New York City, it would help to do some light workout. I mean, look at me. I'm not in any kind of shape, but a little light workout, specifically getting your legs right so you don't cramp up and keep a bottle of water in there. If you do anything remotely creative, you owe it to yourself to get in here. There's a few reasons why. I I need to warm up my breakfast. <clears throat> Could use a little bit of help with the microwave here. Anyways, so people asking me, are you tired of going to New York City? The answer to that short answer is no. There's just way too much going on here, way too much to see, way too much to do to get into. You're never out of options. And as a person who's a content creator who needs content to create and something to film, video, record, audio wise, this is definitely the city for that. You know what? I just realized I didn't hit the start button right here on the microwave. That might have something to do with why nothing happened. And with knowing that New York's a physical city, the option between having comfortable shoes and your stylish shoes, you're gonna have to know when to make those calls. Now back to what I was saying about the creative aspect of the city, it's like this feeling of hustle that this city has. This feeling of just trying to make it through this day-to-day -day grind in the concrete jungle and really just this thing called life in general. Water break. Mm. New York City is got the clout of being this untamable beast, but it is run by very, very normal, regular people, just like me, just like you. And we all have our own background and history and story to tell here on this world. There's an infinite number of stories in New York. Feel free to add to it with your story. Never ever think you're not, I don't know, good enough or whatever reason to come here and give this city your best shot.